Hey guys, welcome to what's probably going to be the last of these one-off Mortal Kombat Trilogy videos for the N64. Two more characters this time, we're doing the robots. Sector and Cyrax. Sector was the very first ninja to be automated into a robot by the Lin Kuei. Cyrax is number two, and then they hunted down Smoke and he became number three. So he's got a missile, a double missile, the same teleport punch as Robot Smoke, and a homing missile. Those are his moves, which leaves him pretty vulnerable. And we go for the animality here. And this matchup, by the way, is kind of canonically neat, because both Sector and Cyrax have the directive of hunting down Sub-Zero, since Sub-Zero is the only Lin Kuei ninja to have escaped the robotic automation process. Sector wins. But yeah, cool little bat thing there, I guess. But yeah, I was reading the tier list of people who actually play this well and competitively, and Sector, I've seen him all over the place. Like, at the very bottom of the tier list, and I've seen him more consistently considered a... high low tier or very low mid tier character. But his brutality is very easy to pull off. It's the most beautiful sequence of buttons out of all the brutalities I've seen. It's like B B R R C up C up C right C right A A B. So it's literally just doubles of the same button until the end. That's N64 controls obviously. <laughs> Well, yeah, even, look at this, I was struggling against Robot Smoke here. And I don't think I have to tell you, this is post-commentary with the same rules as all the other videos. One-round matches. It's a cool fatality, though. There's a glitch with that fatality, too. Where somehow, I forget how you do it, but you can get the character outside of the thing and they still crush. But, technically, it looks like he's crushing nothing. But Sector's story is kind of neat. He personally volunteered to be automated because it removes his soul, which makes him... Shao Kahn can't detect him because he has no soul. So I guess in that sense it's kind of neat. Had a little bit of trouble here because you got to be a little more than half across the screen with this one. There you go, that's all Sector's fatalities. The only thing we have to do that's unique to him is his friendship now. Which we do against Baraka here. I'm not sure how Sector has changed in the more recent uh, Mortal Kombat, or really any game after this one. Which, by the way, Mortal Kombat Trilogy gets a lot of hate because, like, the music is in the wrong stages and stuff. I didn't even know that until I started looking into it a little more. Silly little carnival game. Friendship. Friendship. That one you just press run three times and down, but it's, it's finicky, so just mash down and run constantly until it works. Oh yeah, that was a cut too. Winds are back to zero and we're on Shao Kahn's stage because I lost. With the AI, it's kind of... You never know if they're going to dodge the missiles or not. So yeah, these are very... I have no idea what I'm doing with Sector strategies, just using his specials and hoping for the best, and otherwise resorting to the corner of the screen aerial combo strategy. I never really played as him too much. I messed around with Cyrax a little bit more back when I played this, when it actually came out. I don't know what I did here. I think I failed. Yeah. It's gonna redo the brutality, but... So same deal as Robot Smoke against the boss character. Well, Motaro specifically. Go with the high kick combos, because... The punches of the robots, this includes the uppercut, which is normally one of Mortal Kombat's strongest things, is that uppercut. But yeah, the hitbox with the robot characters is weird with their punches, so it's better to go with the kicks. But even their roundhouse kicks has a weird detection to it. It's like a delay. So I think that's one of the reasons why 
sector wins. When they rank people by tiers, they always put human smoke like way up there compared to robot smoke because of like those hitbox things. Plus, human smoke just has so much going for them. But yeah, I'm not gonna talk as if I know that stuff. I was just basically telling you what I've read. Got pretty lucky in this fight though. I think I've done it enough times between all these videos that the strategy of backing up a little bit, uppercut, rush in for the combo was working. Which by the way, if you don't have infinite run enabled, sometimes after your combo, you might not be able to rush in there. I forget how that works, because I always play with these same cheats, it's just casual fun for me. So that is Sector, we will see his ending, it's kind of... Compared to Cyrax's ending, Sector actually seems like a more interesting character, I would say. But gameplay-wise, he's a little clunky. Sector. After eventually terminating Sub-Zero, Sector is attacked by Shao Kahn's army, unfamiliar with the Outworld warriors. Sector fights back, he targets Khan and all Outworld, Outworld beings, that's hard to say. Into the fortress once inside, he self-destructs. The resulting explosion is so massive that it closes the portal and returns Earth back to normal. So he saves the day. He sacrificed himself just to hide his soul, and then he saved the world, basically. So he's not really a bad guy. But now on to Cyrax, who is very technical to play. He can deal a lot of damage, but it takes a lot of work to make that happen. Of course, against a very easy AI. Here's Chameleon, who's like one of the worst players because she changes between the three princesses so much, or female ninjas, no? Princess Katana. Please. So yeah, Cyrax has the net, which is amazing. That's his a good combo. He's got a near bomb and a far bomb. He could teleport. He could also teleport in midair, which I think I do soon. And then he's also got an air run move, where it's basically an air throw. But it's different whether you're on the ground or in the air. So same deal, start with the animality because it's easy on the first guy to do mercy. I like his animality. Which I think on the PlayStation version, all these animalities, I don't think they have the thick outline. But I can't remember. If that's true or not. But yeah, the net... That's hard to block, just in general. Like, if you don't press block, you're kind of screwed. You have to time your jump just right to jump over it. But yeah, those bombs, they're tricky to do. You have to hold low kick for a couple seconds, then do the input, either back-back or forward-forward or whatever. There's a friendship. Cyrax. Wins. Friendship. Friendship. Again? Round one. Fight. Liu Kang. Oh yeah, by the way, since this is post-commentary, I can tell you I tried to record Liu Kang and Kung Lao. I did alright as Liu Kang. As Kung Lao, I forgot how to play as him, and like, I need some serious practice. And I don't think I'm in any place to be playing fighting games like this, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna do it. But, although this is a stage fatality, Cyrax's personal fatalities are way cooler. Cyrax wins. Fatality. His other one is kind of tricky to pull off, because it's one of those ones where you have to jump. I saw, sometimes they say hold block when you're doing the inputs. But of course, you know, if it's a friendship, you can't block. Because if you press block ever, Friendships and babalities no longer work. But yeah, see, that's just an ideal noob strategy. Just hope the net keeps working, followed by his best combo. So this is where I had trouble. Luckily, you press run for this one. Uh, what is it? Down, down, forward, up, run. I think I like that one better, though. Flawless. Victory. Flawless victory, yet he no longer exists. Kind of fitting for his ending, though, too. Shiva! 
By the way, Shiva is typically listed low on the list. I don't know why. Because fighting her always as a CPU character is annoying. Because anything like Scorpion and Human Smoke with the harpoon, she instantly does her little jump slam move. Like as soon as you finish the input. Failed brutality here, I believe. Yeah, his is very tricky because it's singular. It goes from high punch, high kick, high punch, high kick, high punch. And like it keeps repeating until it doesn't. And it's very weird. It's similar to his basic combo. It's just one of those things when you get used to playing as a certain character and then you switch up to somebody else. Just the little change ups and what's their best combo and stuff. It's tricky. Yeah, see, there you go. That was a perfect example of the uppercuts of the robots. Sometimes you just totally whiff like that. So the roundhouse kicks are actually better. It's always good to know a handful of combos, too. Some combos end in a pop-up, so you can always, like, chase them or do, like, an aerial thing, too, after. Yeah, I got very lucky there. I think we stage Fatality here. Which, for Cyrax, is so easy. Run, block, run. So, yeah, the only basic special of Cyrax that I didn't show is his air run, which has two different inputs depending on whether you're on the ground and your enemy's in the air, or you're both in the air. Or just Cyrax or something. But yeah, same as all the other robots go with the high kick combos here. Because Motaro, your punch won't work. It's gonna whiff, and Motaro will just grab you and slap you across the screen. Like that. Cyrax wins. And then I think I died once on Shao Kahn. It was close, though. I almost had a perfect run with Cyrax, of all people, too, which is weird. But yeah, just AI luck. He didn't really block much. His net works against him, by the way. The failed fight I did it, I don't think I get it here. But yeah, unlike a lot of other characters' special moves, the Cyrax net actually grabs Shao Kahn, which is a huge help. If you could time it between, like, his fireballs or something. But there you go! The two robot characters, kinda technical and clunky to play as. I'm sure there's a pro out there who likes to play as them and can really show what they can do. Like Sector, if you know how to like follow up with his missiles as like the final piece of a combo, that could be good. But yeah, we're just casually playing. Now look how ridiculous Cyrax's story is. He's captured by Sub-Zero on his mission to attack Sub-Zero. Reprogrammed to destroy Shao Kahn. Then he awaits new orders from his Lin Kuei headquarters. The orders never come, and he gets lost in the desert. <laughs> it's like, alright. I don't know. But there you go. I don't know if I'm gonna do any more. Like I said, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, but I'm, ba I'm bad with everybody else in this game, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Take care.